your one through ten. This is your top ten big board in terms of free agents here. And you put a former Cowboy in at number 10. Who else knows Randy Gregory better than the Cowboys fan himself? Where does he land? And really, why is he? he I mean, this is uh, realistically out of, the, out of this entire list. Him and Chandler Jones is the best pass rushers in this free agent class. Randy Gregory brings that to the table. Where does he land? And uh, tell us about Randy Gregory. When Randy Gregory, in my best Stephen A. impression, is off the weed. <laughs> he is an elite pass rusher. He can get to the quarterback. He's proven it time and time again. He just has to stay out of trouble. Dallas has done a good job to kind of sticking with him to allow him to kind of get, overcome those immaturity issues. Um, I, I think this is a guy that wants to get paid. I, I do. I don't think there's a chance in hell Dallas gets him back. I think he wants to get paid. I think he's going to end up on a team that's young, that doesn't win. Um, I haven't gone to the New York Jets. I think the New York Jets get a pass rusher with Robert Salah. Um, a guy that just, you tell him, go get the quarterback like he did with Nick Bosa. Um, I see Randy Gregory in a Jets uniform real soon. That that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to double down on, I'm doubling down on that one with the New York Jets because that, that makes a lot of sense. A guy like that wanting to get the bag and then it's just, you know, I don't want to, uh, Randy Gregory, he could have it all figured out and play every game for the rest of his career and, and not have to go through any off off field problems. But it always just seems like those bad teams, those those rebuild teams, always are will are more willing to take those shots on those players that have those those kind of problems. And I mean, not even I don't even want to say the Shaq Lawson pick. Shaq Lawson had no problems and or anything like that. But it's like those type of players that like are that that want the bag. You know that they are going to get the bag, and it's those teams that are at yeah. the bottom. Yeah, and, and have the most cap space. space. Yeah, and yeah, have and, the most cap and, space to be able to make it And happen. you're getting a guy. You're getting a guy that has a super high ceiling. Like, he could be one of the best pass rushers in football. He already is when he's on the field. So, um, yeah, I, I just think it's a good spot for him. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Next up on the list, you have Brandon Sheriff, former Washington Commanders. Sheriff? I said Sheriff? Right. Brandon Sheriff. Sheriff. It's Sheriff. Brandon Sheriff, former Washington Commanders uh, guard. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to. Let me hear where you're saying first. Because yeah, honestly, I really want the Jacksonville Jaguars to make a push for him. But I don't <laughs> want to say the Jacksonville Jaguars land him. Uh, so where does where does Brandon Scherf go? In the offseason outlook, I said Pittsburgh should call and make that call to get Brandon Scherf. I thought that was a slam dunk for them. I still do think they should. But I actually think he lands in Cincinnati. I think it makes perfect sense. They got a they got yeah. a huge cap space. They obviously need to address the offensive line. He's the best interior lineman that's left um, from the guard position, I should say. Um, I think it makes sense for them to go after him. I have him going to Cincinnati. Yeah, I like I like that as well. I mean, it's for 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 Cincinnati here. It's like this is where this is where they need to go. They need to go all offensive line. I I'm gonna be I'll be different here. I am going to go with the Los Angeles Chargers. And they are their team that they they've they've went offensive line the past few years. They, they last year you saw them get a Corey Lindsley from the Green Bay Packers, but this year they lost Brian Bulaga. Uh, this they they they, they lost Brian Bulaga. He retired, and they could really fill that spot there. They're letting go of Michael Schofield. This is a spot. This is a hole for the Los Angeles Chargers that needs to be filled. And again, you've brought it up many of times on the show. Everyone's jockeying for position. They want to protect Justin Herbert. That's a big time priority for the Los Angeles Chargers, and they land Brandon Scherf. That's that's a it's be my wild card pick. Wild card. Oh like man, it. here it is. This is the one I really wanted to talk about. At number eight, you have Bobby Wagner, and this is a player that it did come as a surprise to a lot of people that he was released from the Seattle Seahawks. Spent a lot of time there. Reports came out today that. The Seattle Seahawks didn't even have the decency to call him and let him know. Like it was, it was somebody else just letting him know that he got released, which is really shitty. But Bobby Wagner is going to be an impact player for somebody out there and be a big time difference maker. I'm assuming he's going to some AFC West team. Um, he's not. Oh, he's going to the, he's going to the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, oh, wow. Um, th there are already reports that the Dallas Cowboys have already called to talk to his agent and are waiting, you know, to be able to officially make offers, um, reunite him with Dan Quinn. Remember Dan Quinn's connection to Seattle. Oh. Um, they Leighton Vander Esch is gone. You line oh. him up 
in the middle there with Micah Parsons, who they really want to use more as a rusher um, because his ability to get the quarterback. And now you don't have to worry about that middle linebacker position. I think it's a match made in heaven, depending on how much he's going to cost. uh, Right. That's the biggest thing with Dallas right now, making a splash in free agency with cost. But I have a feeling Jerry Jones is the master of making things work. Um, I have a feeling Bobby Wagner is going to be a Dallas Cowboy this this season. Wow. Even if it's only a one year deal. I like that. I don't like double. I, I'm I'm sorry for taking your picks. <laughs> no, that yeah, good, that's the point. That that is that is a good pick, and I and I do like it. And I honestly, I went, I I, went, I scrolled through Twitter to see what the Bobby Wagner conversation has been all about today, and it was Ed Werder that came out and said the Cowboys have contacted free agent linebacker Bobby Wagner and expressed their interest in having him play for Dan Quinn, who coached him. Yeah, that that's that like those, those one of the like those are layups. Like when there's like that type of connection. With these players, like a, like a Dan Quinn has with Bobby Wagner, it's like a layup to say, okay, that that's where he's going to go. You just hope a team that doesn't have like, you know, 80 million in cast base doesn't throw like just a bag at him because then it's hard to turn down. That's true. That is true. But, but I mean, look at the people who have, I mean, is, I guess Cincinnati maybe could throw anybody, the bag at him. Anybody with a bag could throw it at him and he but, might. That's true. Take it. You know, that's money true. talks. Money does talk. Chandler Jones. The uh, pass rusher from the Arizona Cardinals wanted desperately out of Arizona. I'm going to tackle, his- tackle Ryan Jensen and Chandler Jones together. Since we're oh, playing. are you? Okay. Go for um, it. Two AFC teams I think need to need to be addressed here. We talked about Ryan Jensen to Tennessee. I think that makes sense, replacing Ben Jones. So I'm just going to let that one go quickly. But Chandler Jones, I don't think nobody's really talking about it. I think he goes to Miami. Um, I, I think Miami, South Beach, good spot. You know, whatever the tax situation is down there, you get to play New England twice where he used to play. Um, they talked about reuniting in New England, but I, I, I think Chandler Jones is in Miami this year. They could use pass rush help rebuilding that team. They have a good foundation there. I, I like him to step in and help that defense with a good back end already, um, you know, that they have in the secondary. I'm going to go with a team that we haven't really talked a lot about as of late. Uh, hmm. I have two teams that I want to consider for Chandler Jones. And I, I, I think you're pulling your best AJ pressure right now. You know that, right? I know I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time here. I'm, yeah. I'm really having a hard time. I will go with the Denver Broncos. I'm going to go with Chandler Jones to the Denver Broncos. Something I just, I just saw. And, and I wanted to get to, before I made this pick there, the, them and the Buffalo bills were the two teams I really had in mind. Cause Buffalo needs a pass rush, but Here's your connection. Chandler Jones played college ball, Syracuse. That offensive coordinator in his last two years was Nathaniel Hackett. You're reaching. You're reaching. Oh, I oh I picked Denver once and now I'm reaching. Unbelievable. You're reaching on the connection. I am. I am. I am. That would, but but hey, Chandler Jones to Denver. Denver, Denver is a, definitely a destination he could go to. But my but reasoning, the connection, my the reasoning connection was a little stretch. Was that's yeah. what it was. Either way, he wants to win a Super Bowl. That's that's the other thing, and he could be very dangerous with the Denver Broncos. And I will I will agree with you. Ryan Jensen to the Tennessee Titans makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, his former teammate though, Carlton Davis. This is this is the Jets. Carlton yeah. Davis to the Jets. Re just. Really rings to me here. Carlton Davis, Fort, the New York 49ers, Jets. 49ers. Okay. Need secondary help. One of the better corners, not being talked about a lot. 49ers. Jets make sense, but if the Niners offer him money, I think, I think he goes there. Let's go with two teammates here. Marcus Williams, the safety and Teron Armstead, the tackle Armstead's going to Cincinnati. That's, <laughs> that's where I have that one's. I, I didn't want to put Brandon Sher- Sheriff there, which could easily, they could get both of them. They have the cap space. Uh, but I think Teron Armstead is destined for the New Orleans or the the Cincinnati Bengals, and I will go with Marcus Williams. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll leave Marcus Williams on the table here. Where do you think Teron Armstead and Marcus Williams land? Uh, Teron Armstead, I actually have going to the Colts. Uh, no, the Eric Fisher's gone. Um, they're losing Mark Lewinsky. That offensive line is not what it was last year. I have Teron Armstead with Indy, and then I have Marcus Williams to the Bears. Ooh. Younger safety, the defense got old in Chicago. I think they start to kind of revamp that. Um, they lost a couple of pieces back on their back end. They had to let go. So I think Marcus Williams ends up in Chicago. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will say, you know what? I say Marcus Williams lands with the New York Jets. 
Uh, the Jets are a team that always yeah, you the Jets and the Jaguars. Everybody's on hey, the Jets and the Jaguars. Hey, hey, I just wish that the Jags were more talked about on my list, but they're not. I'll say Marcus Williams, New York Jets. Round it out. J.C. Jackson, Tyron Matthew, the top two players in this free agent class. Where do they land? I think Tyron Matthew comes back to Kansas City. <laughs> That's exactly where I have him. I'm oh, yeah? right back oh, to cool, cool, I have him cool. right back to KC. He's not going anywhere. I think he'll test the market, but I think he'll realize what he has in KC is special, and I think yeah. he stays. Yeah, I think that, <laughs> that that's the case. Now, J.C. Jackson, top guy on your list. Where does he go? Um, to me, this is a slam dunk, easiest pick for me. Um, we talked about the AFC West, those receivers, those weapons, those quarterbacks. He goes to the, the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, they, they are – they are a team that could use some secondary help against those quarterbacks. I have him landing in LA. JC Jackson, number one free agent. He's going to be a charger. He's going to be a Las Vegas Raider. You got it all wrong in the AFC West. He's going to be a Las Vegas Raider. The connection with Josh McDaniels had no connection really, but he did it anyways. JC Jackson to the Las Vegas Raiders. That does it for our top 20 free agent predictions. 